Welcome. Today for our first edition, um, we have our guest, local media star Kit, and uh, he is hoping we are going to be able to help him with some... Well, lower back pain and stress back as well. Lower back pain. And beforehand, he filled out some information for us that we normally have people fill out asking all kinds of questions. And life is good for him. So it's a bit of a mystery. But today he told me that indeed something happened. He fell. Yes. So he fell off a ladder. Yes. A while ago. And how many years ago? Oh, I'm going to say 2007 when I was uh, just 21. 20 year old uh, former Marine just being stupid and just fell off a ladder. Okay, so we're hoping to uh, help your back today. Um, we're going to use bridging, um, which is a technique that I developed. And I am Kara Lindell. I'm the founder of the Bridging Institute. And what is bridging, you might ask? Well, it is a series of micro movements, which are just little wiggles and rocks and rolls. And they reinforce the physics of how the body functions. Um, so that it lets you move and do all the great things that bodies need to do. And the cool thing is it's um, also is quick, the changes. You're going to see them today. And they're long-lasting, so we're not going to have to redo everything um, over and over because we're following the way that the body originally put itself together using infant development sequences. So um, that's a little bit of what to, is behind the scenes. And how did I get to this? Well, I have a background that's kind of eclectic. It's uh, I'm a systems engineer, an exercise specialist, and uh, a mom who's got a kid who did a lot of cancer treatment and also a kid who is a Marine. So it's great to have a veteran um, that we're going to be able to help today. So to get going, here's what we're going to do. We are going to just kind of check and see overall how everything flows when you're standing up, and I'm just moving you around. Okay. And the hard part is you just have to let me do it. Don't help. Don't, don't, don't help. help. All right, there don't you help. go. I got it. Don't help at all. And then we're going to sit down. We're going to do the same thing. And right. uh, then I'm going to have you lay down, and we're going to check how core has got some movements, um, how arms and legs connect together, and how they work, and sort of see what the picture is and why whatever we find is leading into your back bothering you. Okay. So, you ready? Uh, seems simple enough, so let's make it happen. Let's go. All right, so you're going to stand a little bit in front of me. Okay. All right, I'm just going to move you around this way and that, and you just, just don't, well, I won't let you fall over. I promise. All, All right. right, so we're going to go a little bit sideways, and I'm going to turn. And what I'm looking for is, is the ease of moving the same? And right now I'm finding that is not. Mm -hmm. So I can turn you to the left and I cannot turn you back to the right. And it just doesn't have this elastic, flowy mm -hmm. characteristic to it. And then if I go forward and back, that's great because you're not going to fall over. Then I'm going to check the same things here. Just gonna go side to side. Excellent. Turning. Nope, oh, no turning to the right. Whoa, all right, we're consistent. Um, all right, you get to sit down. I'm going to check the same things. And so we're going to go side to side. Mm -hmm. Very good. Turn. Oh, here we turn to the right. So there is something with probably lower body that's keeping you from turning to the right. So that's our first clue. We're looking for clues. And forward and back. Yeah, it's about the same as when you're standing. Great. You get to lay down now. Oh, lucky me. Okay, great. Lucky you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, All right, so uh, the key here, I'm going to just ch do some wiggles and see how legs are moving, how arms are moving, and then we're going to check some different things with core, and then I'm going to flip, let you flip over on your stomach, and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with legs. One, I'm going to just lift them and see, strangely enough, do they weigh the, feel like they weigh the same? So here's one, and here's the other, and they do. They're both a little... Not uh, literally heavy, but they just don't have this light ease to them. And we're going to see, do they, oh, they do not turn, but this one does. It's got a little wiggle to it. This one is stiff. So already I've got, have a, he's had a hard time turning to the right and a left leg that is not helping you out so much. Huh. All right, we're going to see how arms, I'm going to just give this one a wiggle, great, and wrist, that works for me. And then we're going to see, is there a, it's stretchy. It's a shoulder. Yes, it is. Love it. And 
check the other one, same thing. And eh, not quite as easy as the left one. And it does not have a little stretchy at the shoulder. Shoulder injury? Mm, no, not, not, not much. No, I don't have a shoulder injury. No shoulder injury. All righty. Okay, we're going to check some things with your core. So first one, I want to see if your ribs have this bouncy kind of feel to them. So, Ticklish? Um, we'll find kind of out. <laughs> okay, they have this just nice bounce back and forth. Excellent. See about down here. Same thing. Very good. And I'm going to scoop underneath your shoulders, and we're going to see how they move, if they move. Oh, no. No, okay. I'm looking for symmetry. Does right and left match? And they match. It just doesn't move. Hmm. So something's going on at the shoulders, although it could be because of your lower back. Um, all right, I'm just going to scoop underneath your head. And whoa, I'm thinking I should be able to lift it to get my hands underneath, and I can't. So there is something stuck up in your neck. Okay, can I turn left and right? No. Can I side bend left and right? No. Man, your head's stuck. Got a hard head. <laughs> oh, well, I've, I've been told that all my life, so there. Okay. Um, all right, a couple other things from your core. I want you to bring your knees up and give them a big hug. All right. There you go. Okay, use your arms. Oh. Literally give them, okay, we're going to see if I can just rock you from side to side. Oh, no! All right, put them down. And so typically when I, can't, when I can't rock someone like that, they're usually in their personality a little anxious. Does that describe you? More or less. A little. Of, okay. Yes. Not always, but often. So hopefully we'll get that better. All right, I'm going to grab an arm and a leg. We're going to see, do they connect your core and allow your core to move? So I'm going to roll you toward me and... Um, that's not happening so much. Let's see how the other side works. And you may have a perception that I am uh, pulling harder, and I do not. And this side moves. Okay, so we have some lefts that work well, some rights that work well, and uh, a little bit of a mixed bag, some shoulders that do not, and a head that does not move. Um, flip on your stomach, so you're going to go that way. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna a couple other things to check with arms and legs. Okay. So one is this would be like walking and running. That works. What do you like to do to work out? I forgot to ask. I like to run. Okay. Well, that's good because the way your knees and your hips connect together, that uh, that works well for running. All right. I'm gonna see if they turn. So this would be a little bit of swimming. Perfect. That was actually very nice. And we're going to see how this one turns. Okay, that is very good also. Surprises me related to um, what we found standing. Okay, this leg. Does it turn out like a frog leg? A little, uh, but not quite as easy as the other one. And let's see about shoulders. I'm going to just kind of scoop underneath okay. and just lift little bit of movement I'd like a little bit more but let's see if they match oh hello this one doesn't move at all you sure you didn't injure this one I'm very sure okay um all righty I want you to flip on a side probably the way you sleep because actually we're going to check something on each side so because we've got a mishmash of what's going on between um, shoulder and hip, I'm thinking that something in the core is just a little twisted. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to check and see if I try to move shoulder, kind of this whole upper part of the body, does it move? Not too easily. And then does this move? It does. All right, Kit, flip on the other side. All righty. And let's see how this, oh, beautiful, well, wait a minute. So I can move it back, but it doesn't want to go back forward. And then here, doesn't want to move either. Hmm. Okay, we, we have to do a little more thinking. So when you fell, how'd you land? Um, basically, I landed, I didn't land on my hip bone, but... Like lower back? Yeah, like right here. That's, this is where I landed on, like right here. Lower. Okay, so he's pointing to like right here. Yeah. 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's test this. I got some uh, little fun toys here. They're called peanut balls. Oh, okay. I'm gonna shove one behind you right there, and we're gonna put a little support where you might have fallen, kind of about here, and we're gonna see if giving that a little help, a little love, if that lets your shoulder move a little bit better. Well, sure enough, it does. And what about down here? Yes, that does too. So. We're gonna just support this and we're gonna do some little wiggles and rocks. And we always work from what uh, moves best into what isn't working. So I was checking each side to see what, where's our starting point? What is best? Because I wanna start with what's best. So I'm just gonna hold here where he fell. And um, the reason, one of the reasons I'm using this is it's big, it's a broad support, not like my hand. And um, if he fell on it, the whole area got compressed. And uh, usually the body doesn't like to get compressed and it has a hard time kind of reopening back up. So I'm going to alternate between just supporting and giving a little bit of movement down here and then a little movement at your shoulder. And uh, if anything feels weird, let me know. But I think uh, it should feel relaxing. And then when we're done, we're going to recheck the things that we did to start with. There we go. It's almost like putty uh, or taffy getting warmed up, and then it starts to move a little bit. Okay. Much better. Wow, that didn't take much at all. Very good. Oh, by the way. I forgot to say, for those of you at home, we have a whole training course on how to do this and to learn which steps to do first. See, it may look simple, but the order and where we start is what actually makes a difference. So um, if, you, if you do want to learn more, I um, encourage you to look into our course and not try to do what you're seeing us do right now. Okay, so let's see if I'm going to hold in the middle. And now that moves. And this moves really nicely. Okay, time to catch the other side and see what's going on there. Side. Yes. Okay, so, so our audience can see what is going on. I'm actually going to put this one here and kind of do this in reverse. Let's actually see, does this move better now that we unjam the left side? It sure does. Yeah, I'll never forget when I felt like it was so stupid too. We were doing cleaning and I just, I lost my slipping and I, you know, I, I thought it was just nothing. And so that's, uh, yeah. you know, when it's interesting because when we ask um, people, we ask a lot of questions on our form. And um, I always tell my students, uh, do people remember everything that happens to them? And we've learned no. Um, so you didn't remember the fall at first. And then the things that we find that end up kind of having a lot of influence on how stuck your uh, body may be, they're not always the big things, but they're things that, that just kind of sit in your head like, God, this is what you said. It was a stupid thing. It was just a dumb accident. And the thing is, like, nothing really flared up I, until 2014, I think 2015, I was stocking uh, candy at Costco. I used to work at Costco as a stock. And I will never forget, it was a box of Snickers that I was, um, oh my God, that feels great. Uh, <laughs> box right. of Snickers, I, I lifted it up the wrong way. It was moving too fast, it was being reckless. And uh, unfortunately, I just caused like this huge sprain in the area where I remember I fell way back in the Marine Corps. And yeah, that was just such a problem. And so it was anxious. Like, there's a lot of stuff I have to take care of and work I have to do. And I want to make sure everything's done correctly. I, I produce two TV shows. And oh, nice. I uh, am also a uh, co-host for one YouTube channel. And I'm the main host for another one. And then I'm a uh, contractor for uh, for another YouTube channel here at 99 Perspectives. And, you know, it just... You got a lot of responsibility is what I'm hearing. Well, the thing is, there was a lot of people that was really critical of what um, myself and my colleague, uh, Daniel, were doing. And there were so many people who told us that we couldn't do it, that we couldn't make it. 
Ch changing this one up a little bit. I'm just gonna, it's working so well just supporting this area. Um, I think you, you twisted it when you fell. You probably were like a cat trying to land and uh, keep going. Something like that, yeah. Um, so how many so, more lives do you have? <laughs> well, my name is Kit, and the joke will uh, always Kit be Kat. Kit Kat. Yeah. yeah. You know, in Japan, there's like 100 and or 200 plus different Kit Kat oh. flavors out there. Did you? Okay, so what I felt as I was rocking this, it just felt like it latched on um, and like linked up to here, like the Lego blocks snap into place. So all of a sudden, I felt that this moved and then this moved, that the there's more continuity there. Oh, wow. So you, you may not have felt that. Sometimes people do, sometimes they don't. Oh, well, I feel... Oh, hello. Now everything moves uh, like melted butter. I mean, I feel Ooh. a little bit nicer. It's just the, the thing is what I was saying about stress and anxiety. It's just there are so many Whoa. people who are, like, against us. And uh, yeah. as, I was, as I wanted to say, because this, this, this feels very nice. I haven't felt this nice in a while. Um, you know, it's just it's, it's, I want to make sure everything's done perfectly so that... One, you know, we get to say, hey, we're taking over the city and we're just doing all these great shows. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. So his back all through here is like kind of just relaxing and unwinding. And so it's feeling good, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. That's so. okay. I'm kind of, all right. So this oh. leg is influenced by what's going on in that area, too. And uh, oh. so we're just going to refresh how that all connects in. And so it's funny, you know, your right shoulder was just so tight and you said you didn't injure it. And true enough is the, uh, this lower back is starting to reintegrate and become yeah. part of you again. Your right shoulder is letting go. Oh, man. And the hips. You're going to be a new man. <laughs> I've, I haven't felt this relaxed in a while. Oh my God. So here's one of the things why um, this might have affected like how relaxed you could be. So hitting right through here, um, that's your lumbar spine area. Uh -huh. And in that area, there's a couple of muscles that connect at the in, and intersect at the same spot. One of them is the one that holds the diaphragm down, kind of goes through here. And the other one is that gets your hip flexor. Uh -huh. Well, the psoas. And uh, oh, there, your leg just opened up and relaxed. Woo! Um, I'm just kind of playing around here, making sure everything feels nice and smooth and easy. And that does. And then this one, so it's kind of once we get this piece back together and all the connections come together, we just want to refresh everything and uh, help it all remember how to work with that area now that it's there and available to help. Woo. Okay. Wow. And Casco with the, the candy, was that up here? Uh, you, what happened was I was kneeling down and lifting and I twisted, wow. I, I was just being, long story short, I just was lifting up stupid and I just, then somehow that sprain really went off. And Tell me what, flip back over to the other side. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Let's see which oh way you're uh. uh. Okay. So we're going to just check this side and see if it's moving a whole lot easier. Oh, sure it is. Woo. You just melted away. <laughs> I feel melted away. I feel so much better. What kind of work are you doing tonight? Hopefully you can get in a, a few minutes to relax. Uh, well, I will be... You got hosting. a new show tonight? Yep. I got a wow. show I have to do. Uh, it won't happen until like 4 p.m. So I have plenty of time. <laughs> you do have a short conference call I have to make real quick with... Potential Ooh. guest. Okay. Shoulder feels really nice. It's just got this nice, elastic, smooth movement to it. And let's check this leg. And... So I'm just following where it moves to. I don't have any particular agenda with it. Just as it opens up and moves, we just follow it. And just kind of rock it back and forth. And... Oh, there. That's pretty light and easy. Okay, doke. Um, roll on your back. Let's do some rechecking here. Okay. Oh, my God. Ah. <sighs> okay, so first of all, I want to know if your shoulders move. Because the most stuck of everything. 
I'm going to scoop underneath mm -hmm. and I'm just going to lift and lift. Okay. I'd like more, but considering it was, didn't move at all, this is awesome. Mm. And can I, wow, your head, I have no problem getting my hands underneath. And before I couldn't do that because your head didn't move. It goes a little bit to one side, a little bit to the other side. Mm. Turns, turns, tips back, tips forward. Okay, head's looking good. And I'm going to give you a roll toward me. Little arm and leg. Wee. Okay, pretty sure that was the side that did not move at all before. Mm -hmm. And the other side moved some, but not so easily. Oh, nice. They feel pretty similar to you? Uh, yeah. I haven't felt that. They really, honestly, like I've. I haven't felt this like relaxed in a while. Like, okay. So I want you to grab your knees, give them a hug again. Okay. Let's see if you can. Oh my goodness! Look at that. So you're rocking and rolling now, Kit. Uh, feels great. Okay. Put those down. Okay. We're gonna just check legs. See if they're easier. Oh my gosh! I can. I could probably lift them with a couple of fingers now. All right. This one did not turn before, and now it does. And this one turned before, but it's just a little bouncier. And last thing I want you to do is flip on your stomach one more time. I'm so glad you're flexible because you can just move around. Okay, so let's see how these shoulders are moving. I'm going to scoop underneath. Oh, my gosh, that's so easy. And this one, very nice. They're match. This one did not move at all before. And the legs we're going to check. So much easier for me to move to that position, even though we could go there before. And this one I can do in uh, from the opposite side. Okay, super. Get sit up. Let's okay. see if you, you know, sitting you were pretty good. And standing is going to be the test. Okay. Okay. Ah. <sighs> okay. Dizzy at all? You good? All uh, right. Hold on, Lee. All right. Now hold on. I'm just gonna. Your head just needs a little support to re refind itself. And I'm literally just holding, connecting shoulders, neck, and head. And then we're going to check turning side, back, and forth. Yes. Okay. And then what we did earlier, so it's just smoother. And then turning. And now he's, you know how he springs back? That quality was not there before. And I want you to stand up. Okay. And be careful. Yep. And all right, take a little step ahead forward. Okay, so what we checked earlier, it's just moving from side to side. Nice. And then turning. Awesome. Now you turn to the right. Didn't do that before. And let's make sure down here that that works. Terrific. Everything matches. Welcome to the new you. I well, I feel a little. I feel a lot lighter, and yeah. honestly, it's just it's uh, it's really really different. I'm right now kind of uh, you're like in a little daze. <laughs> it's a little, a little bit of a daze. It's a little bit of a daze. I, I would just I wouldn't describe it as a daze. I just oh. felt, I don't know. It just I felt like just a lot of pressure. Just Do you feel on. like you can breathe better? Yes. Okay. That's 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 a word. I can. I'm breathing better, mm -hmm. and I just feel just a lot, a lot, a lot more focused. Like it feels like I, I haven't felt like this in a long time. Good. There we go. So, what we found with Kit, you want to sit down? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna kind of recap what we found is um, get a few things that were not moving well and asymmetric. And I don't like asymmetric. Bodies don't like asymmetric. Brain doesn't like asymmetric. Um, but he's got one injury and it was falling. So what we did is we put him in a position that, uh, didn't exactly mimic the fall, but we could support, uh, the backside of him where he landed when he fell. And then with that support, start re helping his body match up to that area. It's kind of like, you know, if we're trying to get something, uh, like a car that's stuck, the more people that you get to try to help push. 
you, you get it unstuck. So we got that area supported and unstuck and then just kind of pieced it back into from here, we got legs that connect to it, we have core that connects to it, arms that connect to it, and um, and then as those work better, that let his shoulders relax and neck relax and breathing relax. Because the spot where that was, where you most impacted was the part of your back where all these muscles from your diaphragm and from your legs all converge at the same point. So we got that moving again, so then that all can relax. That's great. You're probably going to sleep really well tonight. I can't wait for that. Okay. I really can't wait for any, that. Any questions? Um, is this, uh, so do you think there'll be a time where, you know, I could eventually this will go away? Like, or is this, or is this permanent? Like, like, or like how so, bad is this? So you, you've you had other people check it and take a look at it in the past, right? Chiropractors yeah, and stuff? Uh, more or less, yeah. But they were all saying, well, if you're able to, to walk and do these things, Okay, so you know that nothing's actually wrong. Yeah, no, 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 okay. no broken bones. Yeah, so nothing's like broken and um, no fractures. Yeah, or discs uh, out of whack or what, no. or herniated, whatever. Um, so as long as there's nothing structurally wrong, all we did was help your body like reorganize. It's almost like the way you fell, your muscles just kind of were in shock, mm. and so kind of support them. They can relax and then go back to what they um, the way that they know how to work. Mm. So the good thing for you is that this happened when you were in your 20s. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't happen when you were two. It Not didn't sure. happen when you were 12 and you were still growing. And so um, when it doesn't happen at an early point in time, it's actually easier to fix because you've been compensating less mm -hmm. or at a less significant point in life. Okay. So um, even though it's been there for so long, it should clear up pretty much in the next day or two. And You'll forget about it. That'll Can't be a wait. nice thing, right? No, it will be a very nice thing. Yeah. It will be a um, nice thing. So I think uh, I'd love to have you come back again as a guest that we recheck and just check in and see how things are moving. And Tell me in as if yes. there's a, If there's another thing that you remember, like, oh, my God, I forgot all about. Um, I fell on my bike or I got hit. Uh, whatever. Hey, well, if that happens, I, I will, yeah, I will let you know. But <laughs> I will try and be careful and not fall off no, my bike or good. any more ladders in the future. Yeah, so no more go. ladders. Um, so, yeah, we'll, I will t check in and uh, recheck, see how you're doing. Um, and I think that would be great for our, our audience because then they can see that, yeah, it didn't go away in two hours. Okay. So, all right. Um, oh, so you know the other question a lot of people ask hmm. is if they need to do any exercises yeah, sure. or some stretches at home. You, you got a pretty active life, right? I'm here almost every single day, and I have to do a lot of errands around the house, so yes. I'm okay, so you're pretty active. So you know what? Your normal activity act during the day, that's mm -hmm. actually going to reinforce that because now that your back isn't feeling better, you're going to be doing more, you're going to be reaching more, you're going to be picking up differently. Like it all just is self-reinforcing. Mm. So just do your work. If you'd like to run, that's great. It'll use the breathing part of that. And you may end up just realizing that, oh, you've been wanting to lift some weights and now you feel like you can without messing up your back. Can't wait. So, yeah, but that's, uh, so that's the other common question. So anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video and our great guest, uh, Kit, um, give us a like and uh, subscribe to our channel because we plan to be bringing a lot more of these to you. And each one is going to be different, a uh, different case study each time, different guests. And we don't know what's going to be walking in the door, but we're going we're gonna to roll with it. So um, thanks. And again, give us a like and uh, see you next time.